Hello everyone. My name is Mohammed Nazir Ali. I am from the Panther product team at Prolifix. We at Prolifix believe that the web is for everyone and should therefore be accessible to all. We have recently assisted several of our government customers to improve the accessibility of their Panther web applications, making them ADA and WCAG compliant. In this video, I will be talking about what is ADA and WCAG. What are the techniques to improve accessibility? And finally, I'll be taking you through a Panther web application demo. So let us see here what is ADA and WCAG. ADA is a law that protects people with disabilities in many areas of public life. Whereas WCAG is a set of formal guidelines for developing accessible digital content. The primary focus of these guidelines is on HTML accessibility. The improvements that we have made in our new release of Panther 5.54. Scope attributes are automatically generated for tags used by row and column headers that are emitted for grid frame widgets. This helps users to know which row or column they are currently in. Table tag and contrast between foreground and background will be achieved with the help of Andy. And finally, we'll be using the Windows magnifier in order to magnify texts with smaller fonts. Panther web application, which I'll be testing with the help of Andy. Andy can be used as a bookmark that provides automated detection of accessibility issues. It does not require to reinstall or upgrade because Andy updates itself automatically. So here is the bookmark, which I'll be clicking now. On the left hand side, I can see that there is some information text. And on the right hand side, I can see accessibility alerts from Andy. So let's rectify these accessibility alerts. It says that it does not have that the text box does not have label. And the HTML does not and the page does not have a title to it. This is important because this is what this screen reader reads out. So let's go to the HTML and rectify this error. So here we are adding label tags and title tag. And a small text at the end of the division. So let's test this out. Let's run this again. And here we have. And on the click of this Andy bookmark, I should be able to see it. So here it is. So it says that three focusable elements have been found and none of them have any alerts on it. So the next one here will be color contrast. Let's look at the color contrast here. So uh, so here it is. Text color is black and the background is. Uh, is also a good color. That's light color. And that it says that we have passed it. Since the minimum requirement here is three is to one, that is the ratio of the color contrast. Um, we have 13.74 is to one, which is a good one. Let's go to this one username. So it says here also we have passed it. It's the same. And then the login. Yeah, that's the same. Here I can see some text is written. In order to view text which has small, which has very low font in it, we'll be using magnifier. So the shortcut to use a magnifier is Windows key and plus. Yeah, so here we have if we click on the plus again. Let's go with the mouse. I'll be clicking here with on the plus. It's go to 200%. It takes me to 200% and then more 300% zoom. And the navigation becomes easier with the mouse. I can move like this on the e, on the right hand side, on the left hand side as well. If we can help you make your Panther web application accessible, please contact us at support at prolifix.com. Thank you.